What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Chelsea FIFA 17 career mode. Champions League group stage is finished now which gives us a nice break. Um, that returns obviously in February with the knockout stages so we can really concentrate on our domestic competitions which is good because things not going as smoothly as we'd have hoped with our title defence. We're at ninth in the Premier League table. We've managed to pick up a few wins recently. Managerial rating is now up to 77 so our job is a bit more secure but let's just take a moment to have a look at the top scorers list. Sergio Aguero, you'd expect that. Angel Correa in second place. We sold him to Manchester United so that's a bit annoying. But third place, not only does this man play for Nottingham Forest, the newly promoted team, but it's also Nicholas Bentner, third top scorer in the Premier League. We play Forest in today's episode, but first it's a trip away to Sunderland. Before we go to Sunderland, though, we're going to have a little look and lick our lips at that £18.5 million prize money just for qualifying through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. This is where the money is, this competition. Let's have a look at this Sunderland lineup. A couple of former Chelsea players in there. Gillibodji at the back. Patrick Van Aanholt also at the back. Fabio Barini and Franco De Santo, two former Chelsea players on the bench. So we've reverted back to a 4-3-3 formation. Costa gets the nod up front, but Griezmann is back from injury. Barkley, Baker and Kante will be in the midfield free. Gaia keeps his place at left back after his wonder strike. Barkley into Willian. Finds Kante. Got away from his man. Hazard to his left. Could be a dream start. Eden Hazard. Good save. Jordan Pickford. And it's headed away by Van Arnholt. Pickford. Very good. Promising young English goalkeeper. We've won the ball back though. He might be tested again here. He is tested again. And he comes through that test. Really good young English goalkeeper. Corner taken by Hazard. Whipped into the near post. Pickford will get his fists on that. Kante. Heads it back to Hazard. Can we work an opening here? Hazard. Quick turn of pace. Look at that. Unbelievable run from Hazard. Gone past two, three or four. That's a risky challenge. How is that not a pen? We're not getting the rub of the green with these penalty decisions. Baker to Costa. It's actually to Kante. This time Hazard. Third time lucky. Pickford there again. And we'll settle for the corner. This time we'll drive it into the near post. But it'll get there easily. Gaia with the throw. Finds Kante. Looks to help this on. He has found Baker. Running down a bit of a blind alley here, Lewis Baker. But he's done well to turn round. Here's Kante. Take a shot, mate. You've got nothing else on. It's a decent effort, to be fair. Only 20 minutes gone. We have bombarded that Sunderland goal with shots. But Jordan Pickford has uh, had a wonderful start to this game. We're coming forward again. Here's Lewis Baker. Diego Costa now hits one. And Pickford equal to it again. Had to shoot. Had no other option. Oh, Sunderland coming forward. Jack Rodwell finds a little bit of space. Finds Lenz. Into plie. That's a lovely turn. How? How honestly has that happened? I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name. The striker from the French League. I think it's plie. But we've had so much possession, so many chances. We get turned once and we're behind, just like that. It's the margins at this level, I'm afraid. To Lewis Baker, gives it back to Hazard. Touches it onto Kante, into Azpilicueta, who stayed forward. Great turn from the right back, good. I was going to say good finish, but it's unlucky. Barkley pokes it forward to Costa. Stop his time at the end of the first half. That's a lovely turn. He's got a runner to the right-hand side. It's Kante. It's a great ball and the referee's blown the fucking whistle. Can't do that, ref. We're in on goal, man. Obviously, mixed feelings at half-time, by the way. We're 1-0 down, but we've played so well. But I can't believe the ref's just killed us like that. Double change at the break. Carrasco and Griezmann coming on for Willian and Diego Costa. Lens taking on Lewis Baker. Gets the cross. What a ball, by the way. What an unbelievable cross. That's undefendable. It's a good save from Leno to bail us out. Sunderland with an early corner here in this second half. It's scooped up. Lenz brings it down. Carrasco and Baker get it away between them. Very composed. What a move this could be. Barkley's got absolutely no one ahead of him, though. He might have the pace to keep going. He's not known for his pace, Barkley, but he's no slouch. Cuts back. Could lay this off. He's been caught in the box. He's still going, Ross Barkley. What a goal this could be. Oh, how unlucky. How unlucky can you get? He's got runners ahead of him, but no one in real space. Barkley might lay this off. Has done to Griezmann. On to Hazard. Touch. Finish. Pickford with a save, although that one was straight at him. Corner driven in with pace. John Terry's up there. It's a powerful header. It was going top corner, but Pickford again just plucked the ball out of the air. His gloves are like a magnet. Into Griezmann. Needs to turn. Finds Baker. Don't want to rush it. Want to create a good opportunity. Kante. Griezmann. Through to... Oh, what an interception. That was going straight through to Ross Barkley, who would have been in on goal. 
As Piliqueta wins the ball back, though, here's Carrasco. Barkley again. Into Griezmann. Oh, worst first touch ever. But Baker couldn't control it. What a let off for Sunderland. Twice we miscontrolled it. Twice. A full time whistle's gone. I can't believe we've lost that game. Absolute domination from start to finish. One momentary lapse in concentration is all it took to lose a game. And that's what it's about at this level. You just cannot switch off. I have. Oh, that's a shocker. Absolute shocker. David Luiz getting angry, not getting as much game time as he should be, but what can you do? It's what happens when you have a world-class side. So Nottingham Forest at home now in a game where three points is simply a must. It's also December 17th. I didn't realise it was quite that close to Christmas, which means the transfer window is opening up soon. So get your transfer comments, uh, get your transfer suggestions even, down in the comments section below. I'll read them all. Won't act on them all because it's not physically possible, but let me know who you think we should sign and what players you think should leave the club. Pointing at the screen there. Diego was the man in focus. Lots of question marks about him. Right, I accidentally skipped the cutscene with the team news. So I'm showing it to you now. It's a 4-2-3-1 formation. We've gone back to that after defeat last time out. Donnarumma gets a rare opportunity to impress in goal after our recent defeat. Alonso left back. Mayo right back. Benucci and Zuma. Centre back pairing. No John Terry. It's Kante and David Luiz in the two holding roles. Not because David Luiz has moaned and says he wants game time. But... Because he is just a far better, more complete player than Lewis Baker. And I want to make sure we get the win today. Even though Baker's been playing really well. Hazard on the left. Draxler back in on the right. Ross Barkley behind Diego Costa, who's captain in the absence of JT. In terms of Nottingham Forest team news, all you need to know is Nicholas Bentner's on the bench. Doesn't even start today. David Luiz looks to slide an early ball through to Costa. And what a ball that is. Diego, can he finish? Cuts back onto his left. Has the shot. What a save. Point blank range. How has he done that? How has he saved it? Maybe I should have hit that right footed. Hazard lays it off to Louise, who just played that great ball through to Costa. If he wants more game time, he's going the right way about it. That has to be a foul. Has to be a foul. The ball wasn't even near Costa and he went for him. What a ball that is. Asomba Longa's got behind the defence. Zuma has been completely turned. Benucci is there. Vaughan is on the ball and what a block from Marcus Alonso. Real chance for Forrest. Plays it down the line to Julian Draxler. And Louise goes for the return. Touch and hit. David Louise. Unlucky. I don't know why. I just fancied hitting that. Julian Draxler loves to run at players. But this time he slides the ball through to Costa. Just not got the pace. Not got that extra yard of pace that we need at the moment. Costa looks to thread Kante through. Not known for his goal scoring ability, like I say. But Costa is. He's got a chance here. Left foot, Diego Costa. Wow. Every time. Ward coming forward. Benucci. Oh, my God. We've completely missed that challenge. It was Hugo Mayo. A Samba Longa now. Plays the ball back. Donnarumma. What an unbelievable stop. I can't believe he saved that. We were completely torn apart. And I'm just going to get this clear because we are in trouble. We were completely cut open. It looked for all the world that Forrest were going to go one up there. A Samba Longa picked out his teammate. And Donnarumma, that is unbelievable. Half-time whistle, still nil-nil. Not great. Not great at all. I've got to change things. I think I'm going to put another striker on. Go back to two up top. It's Bertrand Traore that gets the nod. Draxler is the man sacrificed because of that injury he picked up earlier on in the game. Come on, Bertrand. Show us the back of the net, boy. Costa nods it down to Barkley. He's now doing a job on the right-hand side. Not ideal, but... He is more than capable. Here is Diego Costa. Bertrand Traore makes a run. He's been picked out here. Can he finish? Oh, my God. <sighs> Finds Kante. He's got Costa and Barkley ahead of him. He's picked out Costa. Touched it off to Traore. David Luiz. Back to Traore. That's a better effort. Oh, how? How has he kept that out? Corner driven in with pace. Costa flicks it on at the near post. Diego you little legend. Finally, he's back amongst the goals. And look what it means to him. He's an angry man. Good corner from Alonso. Very, very difficult for the keeper. And the ball is whipped in with such pace. It just needs a little glance in touch. And Costa provided it. Oh, great play from David Luiz. He's already been booked. Had to time that to perfection. And he did. Here is Costa. Good run from Diego. He's got Hazard to his left. That's a beautiful ball. Can he finish it? Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The swerve on that. Costa again involved, this time with the assist. Great ball, but that finish. That started a good two or three feet outside the post. And curved, curled its way in off the inside of the post. 
2-0. 2-0. Should be game over. Oh, Barkley wins the ball back. David Luiz finds Kante. Through to Diego. First time finish. It's blocked. Second time finish. It's also blocked. And I'm glad because that was going miles wide. Hazard with the throw. Finds Traore. Costa. Hazard. This is nice. Hazard skips past his man. Goes for the finesse shot. That was bending in. It's a good stop. Only a minute to go. It's definitely three points for us here today. Full time whistle goes. There we go. 2-0 win. Pleased and relieved because it looked, well, after the first 45 minutes, we really struggled. If you think back to key moments in the game, that man with a goal and assist definitely was the difference. But you also have to thank the man in the background there, Donnarumma. At 0-0, he made a really, really good reaction stop to uh, prevent Nottingham Forest from going in front. Would have been a very different game. The injury to Draxler is not a serious one. It's a sprained knee. He's going to be out for three weeks, but still not ideal because we've got a lot of games over this Christmas period. Not an ideal episode either. We lost to Sunderland, which is something we didn't expect. They're having a decent season in mid-table. We bounced back, thankfully, with a win over newly promoted Nottingham Forest, probably because they left Bentner on the bench. Otherwise, we'd have been in trouble. But um, <laughs> stuttering form, we've got a lot of games in quick succession now, so our performance over the Christmas period will probably be key to our overall performance of the season, to be honest. Three or four wins back-to-back -back can really give us some momentum and we can move on to bigger and better things. Champions League still to come, FA Cup, EFL Cup, we're still in all of those. Question is, have Brighton got a win yet? And the answer is no. 16 games in, they've got six points, all from six draws, but are somehow, by some sort of miracle, they're not bottom. Hull, with one win and three draws, and a worse goal difference, are actually sat bottom of the table. But that will bring this one to a close, guys. Transfer window opens very soon. So please do let me know your suggestions in the comments below. Drop a like if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you again next time.